Hi, I'm Bob Allison with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. It's the holiday season, and we have a neat gift that you can make, even with a small CNC router. Let me show you how to do it. Our product is actually a plywood disc that has a hole in the center that fits over the neck of a wine bottle. Then there are four slots on the perimeter to hang wine glasses. Now, you can make this out of any kind of material you wanted. In our case, I decided to use Baltic birch because all I have to do is finish the edges. It didn't take any other treatment. Now, this came from a photograph, and we had enough information where we knew what the diameter was, and we figured out everything else. Let me show you how I did that. All right, I'm using V-Carve Pro, and I've got it set up where there's a sheet of material here. It's like 12 by 12 to make our initial drawing. So let's do this. Let's start with a 10-inch circle because that's how big our uh, disc is. And then what we'll do to get it centered correctly, I'll just select it and center it. That gets it centered, so this becomes the center of it. All right, now I need a couple more circles to get everything right. So let's do this one. This time, let's tell it that it's going to be an inch and a half. That's that center opening. And we'll just, that should snap right here to the middle. Perfect. And then let's do uh, one that's six and a half, so 6.5, and you'll see what that's gonna be. Same center, and there we go. So there's our circles. I need a couple more pieces of geometry. I want to uh, go across here, and let's do another line. And these are gonna be lines that we're gonna use to trim to. Okay, that's fine. All right, now, so that's basically what we've got. All right, now, let's start drawing some stuff, all right? This is gonna be the hole, and so if I take the scissor tool and clean that, that's the hole in the center. That's gonna get machined out. Okay, then over here, I've got some half-inch slots with holes in the back to the three-quarters, so let's do those. So we'll say the diameter is 0.75, and we'll just click on those intersections. So there's one, there's one, there's one, and there's one. So that's our holes, and we need two other features. We need some, some lines here. So let's go to offset here. We'll pick that geometry, and we're gonna offset in this one, and we're gonna, whoops, get both of them. Might as well do all of them. We're gonna offset both sides, quarter inch, we'll hit offset. And now all we really have to do is start cleaning up our geometry. So the first thing I wanna do is take this scissor tool, and I wanna clean this, and this, and this, and this, and that'll give me a square corner there. Okay, let's do that on all four sides. Okay, we've got that done. Now let's go into the center and just click away things we don't need. Okay, now let's let's select it and let's see if everything's joined together. Now, it looks like it is. Hit the join button and make sure it's one closed shape. That's what that is. So that's what you're looking for. And then this is one closed shape. So double check, verify that. Perfect. And then there's one line we forgot to get. All right, so now we've created our drawing. That's how you do it. Here's how I'm actually going to set this up on the machine. The material is 12 by 48. Once again, it's three-quarter Baltic birch. Uh, these are, I should be able to get four discs on there fine. So let's look at one of them and uh, let's talk about how do you approach machining this. Well, you want to do the center holes first. Now, you could actually just cut the inside of that out, but what happens sometimes is you end up with a piece of wood that, that you know, can fly around the shop, but it can also damage your piece, all right? So let's do this first. Let's do a pocket setup. Okay, I'm using a 3 eighths compression bit. It's going to do this hole. And I'm just going to pocket the inside of it. And so, so that's going to mill away the piece in the center. That should be pretty good. My depth of cut is actually the material thickness plus about five thousandths. And so when I calculate that, it's telling me it's cutting through. If we look at this, if we run the simulation. Now, if you notice on that tool path, I, I have it ramp in so the tool cuts its way in, makes the tool last longer. And let's, let's hit this one. So that's what it's gonna do. So that's gonna happen, okay? 
What are the tool path that's required? Well, what we also want to do is, is machine this outside. So if you notice, if I hit the note editor, you'll notice that the start point is right here. And the reason I did that, I want to start out here, out here in the open. I'm going to ramp down so the cutter cuts in. It's going to come over here. It's going to go around it's because it's a, going to be a conventional cut. Then it's going to come back out here and finish. So that's what we're trying to do. So once again, we'll open the tool path up. Same depth, same tool. It's going to be an outside cut. It's going to be a conventional cut but because typically plywood cuts better that way. I've also added a ramp. Uh, there's actually a lead also, and it's an arc lead, so it arcs in. And let's hit calculate, and we'll see what that looks like. And we'll get closer here. And we'll hit preview. And there's our part. Now, this part's large enough. We have a Becker pump. This part's large enough that we really don't have to worry about it moving much. So, so that's basically how we tool path one of these parts. Now, I'm going to apply the same tool path to the other three parts, and then we'll send them out to CNC Sean to cut the parts out. Let's see how that comes out. Hey, Sean, how did our part come out? Looks great. Oh, wow, look at that. That's unbelievable. The edge finish is perfect. I just love Baltic birch. And you know what's crazy? This started as just a sketch on a piece of paper, and that came out nice. Hey, you did a great job on that. Hey, I didn't have to do very much. You know, we put a two flute mortise or compression bit from Vortex in there. The machine, the edge quality, it did it on its own. Oh, that's great. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. And follow us on social media at Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.